Hi, and welcome to Conan Exiles Age of Calamitous. In this video, I'm going to show you where to mine and how to mine plague meteors. We will also show you a tip on how you can avoid mobs going into the center of the unnamed city and how to deal with the Ilarican Plague. But before we get to it, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so that you won't miss our weekly uploads. Now, on to the Plague Meteor Mining Guide. Alright, so we're gonna be uh, passing through this entrance right here. It's um, in the southern part of the unnamed city. We have already placed our bedrolls. Always make sure to um, place a bedroll. And I will be with um, Aus, my partner in crime. Yeah, she's happy. And I will be using my Warlord Thrall from the Van Gogh clan that I kidnapped. I actually have that video as well on how I got this dude. And I think she's bringing a, a, a Highborn from the Elven Covenant. Uh, they call the T9 Highborns. And we're lucky enough to get one from the, um, the Elven Covenant. And also a T9 from the Van Gogh clan. There we go. He's so huge. And I named him Kurama. Alright. So, the point here is that going into the middle of the unnamed city to farm the Plague Meteor in this place. Because this is the only place where the Plague Meteor actually drops. You may need to, to fight a lot of mobs. And God forbid you're not yet ready and you're... Uh, forced to fight a, let's say, this one, right? A, a scourge boss, and you don't want that. Now, I have found a way to actually sneak your way in, or I was able to sneak my way in. I did this multiple times to make sure it's foolproof, and yes, it is. Now, I will show you that I am not in cloak mode. I'm not also in god mode. The only thing I did is to freeze the time so that it will remain noon all the time so that because unnamed city can be really dark um when it's already afternoon and i don't want um to show a demo and it's already really dark and it's hard for you to see and i have to force um myself to use a torch which is not really that good in terms of visibility so nothing no cheat and i will show you that we can actually sneak our way in without having to fight the mobs um, from the, the war front or um, from the scourge boss um, on the right side. All right, let me show you. So these people here will be in constant fight. Okay, I think they pretty much killed each other already. I think the storm hold lost. So, okay, this is not good because they're not busy with each other. So... We're just gonna run and hope that they're gonna leave us alone. And most of the time, they will leave us alone. Just make sure that you stay next to the wall. Because if you don't do that, there is a risk of being detected by those dudes right there. You see the the ghostly figures there are two there are two of them and then if those two aggros when they uh, become aggressive there will be servants of wraith and there will always be three um at least with them so you don't want to get engaged in that fight and also you have to make sure that you follow the path here and don't make sure you don't go to the left because there are servants of wraith in there and also um grunts from the van Gogh clan and I think they saw us. Hold on. Uh. Okay, they didn't. Good. Okay, so for those who have already played the Conan Exiles Vanilla, you know that there are going to be two small dragons and one mama green dragon in here. So you don't want to go there. And there's one baby dragon in here and you need to make sure that you avoid its aggro okay make sure that you don't pass a little bit too much on the left because there are three scourge grunts 
behind this wall and one of them is a mini boss and their scourge um, or plague bosses sorry plague mini boss and two uh, regular plagued or corrupted grunts and if you kill them they will produce Ilarikin plague and that's going to kill you if you are not protected now we're gonna talk about protection later on because I brought something with me to protect my precious thrall so that he's not gonna die during the fight okay we have meteors we have meteors, ladies and gentlemen, and there's a lot of them. So this is going to be a good example. This is going to be a very good demo. All right. So we're going to stay right by uh, Uncle's side. So I call him Uncle. Every time I come here, I stay where he's at. For some reason, no one aggros when you're here. Okay. So let's go through this real quick so that we can go on with the uh, Plague Meteor farming or mining. So, what I brought with me are the Rings of Erevosh. This can only be crafted if you are under the House um, Storm of Sto uh, House Storm Color under Felgarth. It cannot be crafted by anyone else. Now, what it does is that it gives you... So, I'm going to be wearing this as well. It gives you or your Thrall a partial immunity or partial protection in... Hilarican Plague from Hilarican Plague. Now, it protects you by not stacking up the Hilarican Plague fast, and once you're out from the Hilarican Plague um, like area, it's going to stop stacking right away and it's gonna disappear right away. So, it's not gonna give you a total immunity, but it's gonna help you not get uh, a lot of stacks for the Hilarican Plague, and also once you're out from the area where the Hilarican Plague is. Instead of sustaining damage, when you, even though you're already out, it drops the stack right away and you're no longer going to be taking damage. So, at least, that's a very good protection rather than not having anything at all. So, our Thralls are equipped with the uh, Erevosh, um, the Ring of Erevosh. And we don't need to worry once they're fighting a plague monster or a plague boss. Alright. Now, on to the mining the thing that we came here for. So, um, just like the star metal meteors, you need to crack the crust open before you can farm it. And you need explosives. Um, I think you have explosive jars. You have um, orbs that you can combine, like the fire and the... Um, I think there's... Uh, what's the name again, Aus? For the other orb, that gaseous orb, I think. So you can use the gaseous orb. You can throw it into the... Meteor, and then you can follow it up with the fire um, orb, so that it will explode. But it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty inefficient. So I highly suggest you bring like a jar or an explosive arrow, just like what I'm using. So I'm gonna crack the crest open, and let's see what we're gonna get. But you have to watch out once it's cracked, once it's exposed, it's going to produce an Ilarican plague. So make sure that you're not close to it. And then, aside from the Ilarican Plague, something else will come out from the Meteor. I'm just waiting for it to, to, to come out. It's peaking right now. I don't know. He's, I think he's stuck. <laughs> now, this guy is what we call the Plague Undead. Oh, Ilarican Plague. Ilarican Plague. No, 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 no. Too near. See? All right. You have to be careful with that. Damn. Alright, so it seems that... Okay, he's stuck. I'm gonna ask Kurama to... To attack him. Alright. Oh no, Kurama's destroying the meteor. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll farm real quick. I'll farm real quick. Okay. God damn, what is wrong with that guy? Okay, hold on. Okay, his bug. Alright, uh, we're just gonna ignore him. But we have to be careful because, um, FYI, <laughs> when he dies, he will produce Ilarican Plague. So we just have to be careful. Alright, we're gonna crack another one open. Oh, it's out! It's out, it's out! Okay, let's help him. Uh -huh. He's not attacking though. For some reason. Okay, he's, like, he's attacking now. So we have to watch out for the HP because once the HP is low enough, 
we're going to scram because okay i am plagued i don't know why hold on i don't know cleansing cleansing okay it's almost dead it's almost dead i'm gonna help i'm gonna help i have the ring though okay all right i'm gonna show you something okay there it, it's dead and it's producing plague right so i'm gonna make kurama go there and if you can see the follower party on my right side okay i'm stacking lurk and plague look at that i'm stacking lurk and plague look i'm stacking two three and then it it goes away and then if i'm far enough it disappears it doesn't linger it doesn't stay even before the cleanse so that that is the protection that the ring of Erevash actually offers so it's advisable that if you are you know if you're in a clan um, ask someone to be in the Felgar faction and then take the house storm caller because whew, this is the only item that can be crafted that can protect you from the Alarican plague. Okay, cracking another one. So we're gonna we're gonna check later on how much we got, but for now let's try and kill this uh, plague and dead. He he doesn't he doesn't like me, All right? Oh, okay, where's my weapon? God damn. I'm gonna avoid using magic. Cause why is my dude okay, hold on. Think can you Okay there we go. Guard me. Guard me man. I'm fighting here. Okay, there we go, he's fighting. Ah. <laughs> that is so cool. Boom! So he's using the uh, the two-handed um, warhammer that one of the bosses in Age of Calamities is using. So that can only be crafted if you're part of the uh, the Vangul clan. All right. So so far we have. Let's see. Okay, we're quite lucky with our yield, even though we're just using the obsidian pick. Um, we're gonna form the last two here, and then let's see. How much we can get from four um, plague meteor? All right, cracking, running. Oh, it exploded again. This happened to one of my videos also. It exploded. It it's not supposed to explode, but for some reason it does. All right, we are having good yield so far. And again, this is obsidian. This is just an obsidian pick. How much more if you are already using the Krenixium pick? All right, so this is good. This is a very good benchmark. All right, stay away, Kurama. Come here. All right. So these dudes right here, you can farm them and you can also get uh, materials, but we're focusing on just farming the uh, the plague meteor so that it will not be mixed up with um, the items in my inventory. So wait for the fume to dissipate. And 
the location of that meteor is almost at the place where the Harbinger, one of the bosses in the AOC mod, is staying. So I have to be very careful. Um, can you loot them, please? Um, I don't want to mix them up in my inventory. <gasps> ah! Okay. All right. This is this is this is what I'm talking about. How many are they? Okay. Okay, we're gonna stay here and let's see if we can fight them off. Okay. I hate this guy. I hate that smoke. Okay. And that that touch. Okay, he's he's not using magic anymore. That's okay. Um, for some reason... For some reason, they're attacking one by one. I don't know. Oh, they're still gonna hurt. Guys, I'm already 120 in level. And I'm already using um, the highest um, armor from Van Gogh. And I'm still taking damage really easily. Alright, just loot them, please. I'm gonna kill this guy right here. The red one is the most painful one, so don't get hit. Don't get hit by this one because, whoo! They are so annoying. Oh, okay. Okay. This dude is lucky I don't have magic with me. I just brought my weapon and no ammo. Woo! Okay. So this guy's is using the same magic as... Uh, as I have. Woo! No, 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 no. Okay. Cleanse. Okay, thank you. No! The meteor's gone. Alright, that's... That's unfair. But there's one here. Okay. You will be my fourth. This will be our fourth. We got... We got jumped. Okay. I don't want this to hap I don't want that to happen again, so hold on. I'm gonna make sure that the snake is not attacking. Alright. Um I hope I can hit the meteor from here. Alright, so we got four. We got four meteors, ladies and gentlemen. And then once we're done with this guy, we're going to check our loot. Ow? Okay. They're killing him. I'm away. So let's try to, to inch it. And let's see how far... The Larrican Plague can affect you. Hold on. Okay, this far can affect you. A little bit further. And you're safe by that distance. I'm not very good at estimating in terms of distance, guys. But that's how far you can be, or you should be, so that you will not be um, infected by or affected by the Larrican Plague. All right. Let's see. Okay, so we got unstable substance, onyx, aviary, uncut emerald, vanadium, titanium, uncut diamond, amethyst shard, <gasps> four diamonds, amethyst, and uncut amethyst. So it's safe to say that this is a very good um, source of amethyst, but I'm going to be displaying on my screen um differentiating the materials that considers plague meteor as a primary source and a materials that considers the plague meteor as a secondary source all right and i hope that that's going to help you guys 
in deciding if you think farming the uh, Plague Meteor is all worth it um, or not. And that is all for this guide, you guys, and I do hope you find it helpful. If you do, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button for fresh tips and tricks for Conan Exile's Age of Calamities. You can also leave us a comment below for requests of guides and walkthroughs that you want us to cover in our future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.